So I often get asked in the academy, how do you map a Superbase table to a drop-down list widget with inside of Flutterflow? Well, let me show you how in this particular video. So on the screen at the moment, I've got a very, very simple form in Flutterflow. And in this particular one, it's gonna show a list of regions. And upon selection of one of those regions, which will have an ID behind it, I would like to save that into a different table. Let me show you what it looks like in Superbase. Okay, so in Superbase, then I've got two tables. I've got a contacts table and I've got a region table. You can see I've got no data at all in my contacts table, but you can see I've got a region ID and it's that region ID that I would like to have populated with inside my contacts table. But in my drop down list in Flutterflow, I'd like to pull the list of regions from this particular table and then obviously allow the user to select one of those. So let's now go into Flutterflow. Let's quickly then set that up. Okay, so as always in Flutterflow, I have my Superbase project set up in here with inside the settings and the Superbase integration section. And you can see here that I've got my contacts table and I've got my region table, which is then displayed here. That means that it's now available for me to use inside of Flutterflow. Okay, so back within the home page, then I'm going to select my region and I need to now set my database query up on this particular widget. So just move over to the, uh, the back end query option, choose add query, move over to the query section here, just do a regular super base query. And here I'm going to select my region table. Um, I'm going to put a I'm going to put an ordering on here as well, because in my actual table, I have a column called order and I'm just going to order everything by increasing value. So that just allows me to maintain that order from within inside my database. Just hit confirm. So I've got my regular query set up now. Okay, so within the properties tab here, let's scroll then down to the actual uh, kind of where we define the options and the actual values. So what the first thing we need to do is we need to say add option labels. We need to toggle this to be on. And then we need to change this value data type here to then be an integer. So this is gonna be the ID that's gonna come from our database because that's gonna be of integer type. Now with our defined option values, these are the kind of the region IDs that we'll have behind every selection that we have of inside the dropdown. So just choose this here. Move to the region rows on here on the favorite options we're going to say map list items and this will allow us to choose then the super base row that we would like so here's the region id so just select that hit confirm and then what we can now do is leave this as no further changes it's going to pull out the region id here as the option value hit confirm now what we also need to do we need to do something very similar and that's with our label so this is going to be the string value that we're going to display with inside the actual drop down list so just select the option here we go to region rows again choose this option say map list items and then the item in list just select that we go to the super base row and of course it's going to be the region name just select that hit confirm and then just hit confirm again and that's all going to be set up for us and of course the final step we need to do now is where we actually save the actual value to the database so here I'm going to choose my save contact open up the action flow editor I kind of got a little validate form going on here but if I hit the little plus hit add, add action just type in it super base here and I'm going to insert a row, choose the table, and I'm going to say contacts, set the fields, and I'm just going to remove the ID because we're not interested in that one. So let's move down here and choose the name. So let's map the name value. So of course, in my particular case, my widget state is going to be my name text field. Just move to add field again, just select this, choose the ID. We're going to say department. Again, that's just going to be the widget state and it's going to be the department name. Add field. One last time here, we're going to select the region ID and the value is going to be once again the widget state and it's going to be our region drop down because that is going to be the state of that particular widget if you hit close now we should be then good to go let's just select this we need to oh we need to set the initial um, the initial selected value so of course here we just need to scroll down here and i'm going to choose the first option in my database here which is going to be one and that little error will disappear here we are in test mode let's put my name in here steve let me just put the department as it in choose then the west option Option, hit save contact let's head over to superbase so there we go in superbase you can see i've got my row kind of uh, created here and my region id is set which is, uh, clearly has got this relationship set up then to the region table and you can see that i've got that selection here so that's simply how you set up drop down lists with superbase in flutterflow please come and join the digital pros a private no code academy the link is in the description